Welcome. I'm going to give you a, a quick overview about the visualization aspect of true diversification. True diversification is uh, uh, a suite of uh, patents wrapped in a software we call G-Sphere. Um, the visualization aspect of it is deeply intertwined with the optimization and measurement and I encourage you to spend a couple minutes to look at some of the other videos on this site to learn about those. The, uh, the visualization itself it is in three dimensions and essentially the way it works is it translates portfolio balance or portfolio diversification into physical balance or symmetry. So it simultaneously graphs whatever assets that we are um, looking at, uh, whether it's an existing portfolio or uh, maybe we're doing research to create a new model portfolio. And it follows a mapping process. That mapping process puts all these assets into their right place, which when we then you know, volumize that portfolio, shows that level of balance and can be compared to a perfectly balanced object such as a sphere to show the level of balance that's been achieved. So this mapping process is, is central to the, the, the visualization and the invention. It works by taking you know, whatever um, assets we have and measuring their actual relationships, their, their correlations to each other. And assets with a deep negative correlation, in, in this case we have Google and uh, PFG, uh, maybe that's Procter and Gamble, but uh, what, what have you. We're showing those two assets literally going opposite directions. So from a correlation perspective, it would have a negative one correlation, and that would map to 180 degrees in their uh, you know, geometric mapping. So they're literally going the exact opposite direction of each other. An example of no correlation um, you know, correlation equals zero, well that maps to 90 degrees. Here we can see Google and Pepsi, uh, those two red vectors have about a 90 degree angle from one another, showing that they're going independent directions of each other. This is great for diversification because if we can include a number of, of different sources of assets that are giving us independent and yet positive performance, then we're doing our good job to, uh, to make a good portfolio. At the same time, um, we can look at positive correlation. So two assets that are going the same direction, economically and geometrically here, are going to have a, a stronger positive correlation. So when we have a, a correlation approaching positive one, meaning those, those assets are moving in lockstep to one another, uh, we're going to have a very acute angle or angle approaching zero between those two assets. So because G-Sphere is able to simultaneously graph all those different relationships and map them together, we're able to create these images that show how all these different assets interrelate. And then how does that portfolio start to come together? Not just the relationship, but what's the sum of the whole? And uh, we're able to display that by looking at the portfolio um, balance level. We can also see in the middle um, some information about which of these assets are the best assets to invest in and sometimes we also expose other assets that might be stuck inside that frame and therefore uh, be an inefficient asset. We'll spend more time on that in the optimization um, video series. The diversification measurement probably has its greatest utility in looking uh, how diversification stacks up across different portfolios. Uh, here we have three different portfolios. Uh, one is an all equity style box. That's like you know large cap value, small cap growth, mid cap balance, et cetera, et cetera. Nine, nine of those different strategies. And you can see more or less they all go the same direction. In the middle, we take that same portfolio, but now we introduce um, some bonds into it. And we can see we've got a couple different new sources of diversification at portfolio with some assets going different directions and thus getting us more diversification. And then on the right side, 
uh, we've continued to introduce uh, other assets going different directions and thus we have uh, assets going you know multiple of different directions and when we see that in our next slide it's going to have you know a much greater overall total diversification and balance level okay so by comparing these uh, shapes that were created next to this sphere which is a, you know a perfectly symmetrical or balanced object in 3d we get a really quick clarion view how much balance have we achieved um, how much more do we need to uh, work at getting balance into that portfolio and you know does this client of ours or this prospect of ours um, are, are, are they in danger of taking on too much uh, exposure to systematic risk in their portfolio from lack of diversification. Really what G-Sphere is doing, it's taking all this information that you know, is typically just contained in a pie chart uh, and this, you know, this proportionate information. But by adding a dimension to that pie chart from 2D to 3D, we're able to capture not just the proportionate data, but also the relativity and the holism. So by adding a dimension, um, we capture much, much more information. We've had uh, some industry luminaries, you know, say some say some nice things about us. Um, the true diversification process that visualizes diversification uh, also ma maximizes diversification. And uh, I encourage you to explore some of the other videos that can uh, explain how that works. One thing you also might want to do is see it for yourself. Uh, so this is a link on our homepage at www.gravityinvestments.com. And uh, you can click on that green button there. How does my portfolio look? Punch in your portfolio or a prospect's portfolio. And uh, you'll, you'll get your visualization. Uh, it's interactive. It's 3D. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, you also get some uh, diversification scores. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll really understand you know, what's going on in that portfolio like, like you never had before. Okay, thank you.